Hi, welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today we're going to be talking about shaving brushes and the best ones out there. So the shaving brush is an essential tool for the shaving routine. You know, it really allows you to create that great lather with your shaving soap or your shaving cream, and then allows you to apply that to your face effectively and in a very comfortable fashion. So when we're talking about differing qualities of brushes, um, as you get in the higher quality brushes, uh, what you'll find is they hold moisture a lot better, so the soaking time is a lot shorter. Uh, they also uh, whip up a greater lather, richer, foamier, better lather, and it feels a lot better on your face and is able to apply it to your face more effectively. So when we're talking about which ones are the best, uh, I think even more importantly, then the brand itself is the type of fiber that you get within your brush. So there's a wide range of fibers used. Um, the best ones uh, have badger hair. Uh, so there's, even within the badger hair realm, there's actually a range of quality of badger hair. Uh, the best is silver tip, then there's super badger, then there's best badger, and then there's pure badger. And the silver tip is by far the best but it is expensive. We're talking like $150 or more possibly. Uh, if you got the money to spend and you want to do it, I highly recommend it. it. It really does the job great. Feels spectacular on the face, super soft. Um, and if you take care of it properly, it'll last you a decade. So something to, worth considering. But if you're more on a budget, like the best badger or the pure badger uh, will work great. Like I have a Best Badger Edwin Jagger brush here that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. No complaints, works great, works up a great lather and uh, feels great when I apply it on the face, really exfoliates it. Uh, so definitely would recommend that. Um, in terms of other fibers used, the next softest I would say is like horsehair. Uh, you can find a quality horsehair one for between 20 and $40, but it's not quite as good as I would say for the, in the Badger hair. Um, and then at the lowest end, you got your boar hair. Uh, it's pretty rough, um, but very cheap, like $10. So if you're on a real budget, uh, I, I wouldn't really recommend it, but I know a lot of people use it as their travel brush because uh, if it gets damaged or lost, not the end of the world, it's only $10. So yeah, I maybe recommend using the boar hair as your travel brush, but for something on a day-to-day -day basis, I would definitely be, you know, they can try something with a little bit more quality. And then lastly, I have to mention synthetic uh, fibers. Now, there's a wide range of synthetic fibers and uh, a wide range of cost as well. So, you know, you've got your Omega S brush, which is a nice, you know, synthetic fiber uh, brush, and it's fairly inexpensive. And it does a decent job. Uh, and this is another one that could be maybe you could consider as being your travel brush. Um, and then they range all the way up to something that even can even rival silver tip badger hair, actually. Like the mule actually has a one that rivals the silver tip badger hair. Uh, but it's also pretty expensive as well. So uh, if you're considering is that synthetic, you know, you really got to look, you know, and find which one's the best. Um, and there's definitely a wide range. So uh, you got to do your research on that one. But in the article, I actually mentioned specific ones, so be sure to check that out. Uh, and then, you know, synthetic can be a great option if you're like allergic to uh, animal hair, or maybe you have some moral issues with using animal hair, or you're a vegan or something of that sort. So definitely synthetic is a good option for some people. Uh, you just got to make sure you get the right one. There's a lot of cruddy ones out there, so you got to be careful. Um, so now that we kind of covered the fibers, I guess it's good to also cover which brands I kind of have found to be better than others. Uh, I think at the top of the, my list is Edwin Jagger. They have a great wide range, wide range of different you know qualities of shaving brushes, all the way from the silver tip to the pure badger, and uh, they, they provide great brushes, very consistent, great weight, great feel, great lather. So I definitely would. Do Edwin Jagger. Mule is pretty good. Um, Omega makes some great brushes uh, on the cheaper end as well as on the better end. Uh, they got definitely the wide range of qualities as well. 
and then finally Parker. So I guess I hopefully this kind of gives a good overview of the differing qualities of shaving brushes and what to look for and what you need to think about when you're thinking about purchasing your shaving brush. Uh, be sure to check out the article. I think there's a link somewhere floating in this video. Uh, there's also a link in the description below. I go into more specifics and some, some greater detail of these things that I've mentioned, as well as going to specifics of actual specific shaving brushes that I have personally used and liked. So uh, be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Thanks.